Hi everyone, this is Callie Teagarden coming live from my home office in Sugarland. It's been a little bit, I guess, since I've come um, live to you from my home office on the uh, Is Your Good Life Getting in the Way of Your Great Life series. Um, so today is lesson three and I'm going to talk about get help, right? I need help. How hard is that for you to say? I know for me, it's been super hard. I don't want to have to admit I need help. I always thought asking for help was showing weakness and that weakness was not something I was allowed to show. I needed to be brave. I needed to be strong and I needed for people to see that. But over time, I've learned that we're not always all brave. We're not always all strong. And that being strong is being able to ask for help when you need it, right? The irony of that, that the strongest people realize they can't do it all by themselves. Um, they don't have all the answers or when they're pounding their head against the wall, which I've done plenty of times, um, that it's a perfect time to ask for help. So I wanna to talk to you today about this subject, right? And let you know it's okay to say, I don't know, or it's okay to say, you know what, I need some help, or it's okay to say, you know what, someone's been through this before, maybe I should get their input on this, see what they did, right? We, we, we think sometimes we have to have all the answers, even when we don't, and I think that is a tragedy in itself, right? I know I spent so many years of my life thinking I had to know everything. And if I didn't know the answer, I was gonna have to fake it till I made it or um, make something up or not admit or be like, I'll be right back and then try to figure it out myself. But that's not why we're here. We're here to connect with other human beings. And part of that connection is reaching out, is asking for help, asking for advice when you need it. I did it last night. I had a situation that came up um, and I wasn't sure what to do in that situation. So I reached out to one of my mentors that I respected and knew he probably could give me some guidance along those lines, right? I've learned that I don't have to know um, everything. So I want you to know sometimes if you need help, just ask for it, right? There are people out there that are willing to help you. And sometimes you may need bigger help, right? I've been in my life and in my business where I've been pounding my head against the wall. It's been times where, um, remember when I first got into network marketing, I was less than a year in my business and um, it was my previous company and I was just really Stuck. And I knew this was where I was supposed to be, but I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I felt like I was pounding my head against the wall. And I heard a coach, um, and I'd actually heard her about eight months before, but I just kind of blew it off. And I knew that she could help me get to the next level. And I hired that coach. There's been other times in my life where I've been stuck. Um, I, I hired a mindset coach because I knew what was going on in my mind was I had very limiting beliefs, right? We might go to conferences or um, seminars or trainings. I think it's okay to hire a coach if you need one. Now, if you're gonna hire a coach, look for one that makes sense for you. If you're in network marketing like me, you're probably not gonna hire a traditional business coach that doesn't understand network marketing. If you're in traditional business, you're probably not gonna hire a coach that just coached network marketers, right? And there are certain coaches that do better in lifestyle, some in business systems, you know, all different things. So you wanna find the one that resonates with you. And a coach, you don't have to hire them forever. It might be just for a season in your life. I've had some, um, that one coach I think of, I did two programs with him. It was a year, it truly transformed my life. It was the year I went through the divorce and all of that. So if you're thinking about it, do your research, ask friends who they used, if they've used a coach, if they would recommend them, and do it if that's what it takes you to get to the next level, do it, right? This is moving from your good life to your great life. And again, good life is where you're at now. And I always thought great life was more money, bigger car, 
right? Bigger promotion, but it's not. Great life is becoming who you are supposed to be in this world. And sometimes to do that, you have to um, take some of those mental blocks out and a coach can help you do that, right? There's ones in mindset and processes and all different things. So don't see that as a weakness. See that as a strength that you realize you need help to getting to the next level. The other thing I want to talk about is having a therapist, okay? I will tell you, and I wrote about this in the Joy of Journey this week. Um, I don't know if I just buried it too far, no one saw it, or um, if people just liked it, but I'm the girl who never thought I would have a therapist. And, you know, I wasn't raised in an environment where that was a natural thing, right? If you're, if you're going to a therapist, you must have real problems. And I don't want to admit I have problems. Not that we don't all have problems and challenges in our lives. And so I um, decided to go to a therapist when I um, was making the decision to walk out of my marriage. It wasn't suiting me. And before I walked out, I asked, um, this is going to be a bold story. So anyway, Go with me here. I asked um, what is now my ex-husband, was my current husband at the time, if he would go. I said, I think we're having some issues. I think we need help. I would love to go to a therapist. And he looked at me and he said, we don't need to go to a therapist. We're just fine. Okay. If your spouse, side note here, if your spouse asked to go to therapy and you don't think there's a problem, they probably do. So best answer there, you may want to say yes. Okay, back to the story. So second thing, um, I decided not to let it go. I was going to ask twice. Um, so a couple days later, uh, we were going to bed. I asked again. And uh, he said, what? We're going to a therapist so they can tell you you're crazy and you need to quit your business because you're not very good at it? Ho, ho, ho. Um, yeah, that helped make my decision right there. But right, again, if someone's asking you, hey, maybe we should go talk to someone, I dare to say yes. So the funny thing is I decided to leave. My um, now ex-husband went and saw the therapist first <laughs> and encouraged me to go and uh, see the lady. We did go together, made the decision that um, this really – was something we both needed to walk away from. And I kept the therapist, and I spent four years. And I have to tell you, I absolutely love her. In the beginning, I went once a week. And then it was twice a week, and then, or not twice a week, once a week, and then every two weeks, then every three. And I go see her about every four to five weeks now. And I just saw her this week. And, um, you know, it's a place where I can stop. I have someone that's listening and I can talk about what's going on in my life. I know that I wasn't really good at that in the past and it's really opened me up to look at things, to see a different picture, to get someone's perspective on it, a perspective maybe that I haven't looked at. And I will tell you, it's been truly life-changing. And we were talking about some things going on in my life and it seems like I always show up when when things are either really good or really messy, this week was a little bit messy. Um, whose life isn't messy at times? And we were talking about some stuff that coming up and some little bit of stress in my life. Um, I've got surgery next week. I really haven't been talking about it. Um, I want to say it's not a big deal, but it is under anesthesia. It's some girl stuff. Um, but anyway, so she said I needed to talk about it. That. I needed to not hold that in, right? I was holding it. I'm not going to bother anyone. I'm not going to worry about anyone. I'll be fine. But that holding it in created stress. So if you are listening to this, you got this far in this, all I'm going to ask is if you say some prayers for me, that would help me um, make me feel better if you could say some prayers that it just goes um, really well, that both the doctor and the anesthesiologist has a great day that day and um, the God's there with us. So anyway, I would appreciate those prayers. So enough about me, um, but I did wanna share this whole thing, right? It's okay to ask for help, even for me. I just asked for help, I wasn't going to, but it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to go out, hire a coach, hire a therapist, do what you need to do to love and take care of yourself and help push you to the next level. Because if you don't take care of you first, you can't take care of anyone else. And I think that's really the message, moving from good life to great life, is that we can't do it all on our own. Sometimes we do have to ask for help. And that help is about self-care and taking care of ourselves so we can go out in the world 
live the great life and inspire others. So thanks for listening and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks everyone. Bye now.